dear students in this video you are going to learn about factor theorem in the previous video you have learned about remainder theorem remainder theorem states that when p of x is divided by x minus a then remainder is p of a look at the factor theorem here factor theorem states that if p of x is a polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1 and a is any real number then x minus a is a factor of p of x if p of a is equal to 0 and p of a is equal to 0 if x minus a is a factor of p of x Here, P of A means the remainder. When P of X is divided by X minus A, then remainder is 0, then we say P of X is a multiple of X minus A or X minus A is factor of P of X. And if X minus A is a factor of P of X, then the remainder is 0. Let us solve the problems related to this. See here, examine whether x plus 2 is a factor of x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6 and 2x plus 4. Let us check first x plus 2 is a factor of x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6 or not. Here we have to check whether x plus 2 is a factor of x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6. So take p of x is equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6 and g of x is equal to x plus 2. Now according to factor theorem g of x is a factor of p of x when the remainder is 0. If the remainder is not 0 then g of x is not a factor of p of x that is factor theorem. Now, how to find the remainder that you have to find by using remainder theorem. First, find the zero of this polynomial that is x plus 2. Find the zero of x plus 2 that is x plus 2 is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 2. So, the remainder is remainder is equal to p of minus 2. Write p of x and g of x. Then find the 0 of g of x that is x is equal to minus 2. Then substitute this value in p of x. That means remainder is p of minus 2. What is p of x that is x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6 now you have to find p of minus 2 means you have to substitute minus 2 in the place of x in the place of x right minus 2 that is minus 2 cube plus 3 into x is minus 2 square plus 5 into x that is minus 2 plus 6. Now minus 2 whole cube is minus is cube power is odd number 
so sign will be minus 2 cube is 2 into 2 into 2 is 8 plus 3 into first take the square minus 2 square is minus into minus plus 2 into 2 is 4 so 4 here 5 into minus 2 is minus 10 then plus 6 see here minus 8 3 into 4 is 12 minus 10 plus 6 now how to solve this group the numbers having same sign that is minus 8 and minus 10 is minus 18 plus 12 and plus 6 is plus 18 minus 18 plus 18 is equal to 0 now we got the remainder 0 therefore we can say x plus 2 is a factor of x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6 remainder is 0 therefore x plus 2 is a factor of x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6 then again we have to check whether x plus 2 is a factor of 2x plus 4 take here again p of x is equal to 2x plus 4 g of x is same that is x plus 2 we have to check whether x plus 2 is a factor of 2x plus 4 see here which we have to take p of x and g of x now after that we have to find the remainder to find the remainder we need the 0 of g of x that is x plus 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 2 this is the 0 of g of x minus 2 is the 0 of g of x now we have to find p of minus 2 minus 2 for that write p of x first that is 2x plus 4 then we have to find p of minus 2 that is the remainder p of minus 2 is the remainder when 2x plus 4 is divided by x plus 2 p of minus 2 is equal to 2 into minus 2 plus 4 2 into minus 2 plus into minus is minus 4 plus 4 minus 4 plus 4 is 0 therefore x plus 2 is a factor of 2x plus 4 in this way we have to check g of x is a factor of p of x or not by using factor theorem if the remainder is 0 then g of x is a factor of p of x if remainder is not equal to 0 then g of x is not a factor of p of x look at the next question find the value of k if x minus 1 is a factor of 4x cube plus 3x square minus 4x plus k we have to find the value of k here it is given that x minus 1 is a factor of 4x cube plus 3x square minus 4x plus k here p of x is equal to 4x cube plus 3x square minus 4x plus k g of x is equal to x minus 1 we have to find the value of k it is given that g of x is a factor of p of x if g of x is a factor of p of x then remainder is 0 So, 
we have to make the remainder equal to 0. What is the remainder here? How to find the remainder? For that we have to find the 0 of g of x. That is x minus 1 is equal to 0. x is equal to 1. So the remainder is equal to p of 1. Now it is given that g of x is a factor of p of x. Therefore, remainder is equal to 0. Remainder is p of 1 that is is equal to 0. What is p of 1? p of x is 4x cube plus 3x square minus 4x plus k. Now we have to substitute 1 in the place of x that is p of 1. So 4 into 1 cube plus 3 into 1 square minus 4 into 1 plus k is equal to 0. This is p of x. p of 1 is 4 into 1 cube plus 3 into 1 square minus 4 into 1 plus k is equal to 0. 4 into 1 cube. 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 plus 3 into 1 square means 1 into 1. That is 1 minus 4 plus k is equal to 0. 4 into 1 is 4 plus 3 minus 4 plus k is equal to 0 plus 4 minus 4 is 0 so remaining is 3 plus k is equal to 0 so k is equal to 0 minus 3 that is is equal to minus 3 therefore value of k is equal to minus 3 these are the problems related to factor theorem. If p of x is a factor of g of x, then remainder is 0. And corners of that is, if the remainder is 0, then we can say g of x is a factor of p of x. Or we can also say p of x is a multiple of g of x if the remainder is 0.